Hello, in this video, I want to teach you how to duplicate or clone your WordPress website. So you can see this uh, slick, beautiful website right here. It's actually an e-commerce website for a fashion brand. This is just a demo content from the Astra team, okay? So it's nothing too serious. But I'm interested in duplicating this website right here from this WordPress installation to another okay so i will have it running here and i will still have it running in another instance of wordpress installation okay i'm also going to change the username and password as well hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is ns chooks on my youtube channel i post content related to web design and our tricks and softwares that helps us to you know browse the internet productively so if you are interested in my content please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification so you get notified whenever i upload a new video so without wasting much of your time let's get started into this quick video the first thing i'm going to do is to log into the WordPress dashboard of the original website and as you can see on my screen right here I'm already logged into uh, my WordPress dashboard so you can tell from this top bar over here so I'm just going to click on the dashboard and now here is the dashboard okay so from here I'm going to go to the plugin section and click on add new so when I'm on the add new page, I'm going to search for the all-in-one all-in-one WP migration. Okay. So you can see this plugin right here from SafeMask with active installations of 5 million plus. Okay. So I'm just going to click on install now. And I'm going to click activate to activate the plugin okay the plugin is now activated and you can see it from the menu sidebar right here so I'm going to click on it and from here I'm going to click on a spot to and I'm going to click on files so this is actually going to take some time so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's complete so it took about two to three minutes and it's actually done so from here i'm going to click on download and from this section right here you can see that the download has actually started so it's going to take quite some time so i'm just going to pause the video and come back when the download is complete okay guys uh, the download is complete uh, if i click here you can now see that the download right here is complete so i'm going to click on this icon right here to show the download and then you can see that i have the download file over here okay so i'm just going to minimize that right now and close this and that's all i need from this installation so I've actually grabbed the file I need. So I'm going to go back to my C panel right here and then I'll go to WordPress or Softaculous app installer. Okay, I'll just click on this WordPress to get a new WordPress installation. So this is the present installation right here and I'm going to click on install to get another installation. Okay. Okay, uh, right here. I'm going to install it. Uh, okay, I'll call this clone. Okay, I'll call this clone. So it's going to be my web address for slash clone. Okay, and the original one is just my web address. Okay, as you can see, if I remove this right here, the first one is actually my web address from the root of my website, and the second installation is going to be the clone for slash the clone folder okay so scrolling down I'm just going to leave all these uh, with the default uh, details the admin the password i'm going to leave it with the default details so scrolling down i'm just going to click on install 
So when I click on install, you can see that the installation is successful. You can see that message over there. And then going forward, I'm going to click on uh, go to the administration URL. I'm gonna click on the administration URL and then uh, to open up the admin dashboard, you can see the admin dashboard to the new website, but now it's actually very much empty. So if I right click on these and view the website in an another tab, you can see that it's actually absolutely empty you can see that looking so ugly and this right here is the website that we are trying to clone okay so from this dashboard the new dashboard okay i'm just going to go to uh, the plugins add new plugin and i'm going to add the all in one wp migration okay so I'm going to add this plugin all in one WP migration. You can see that the same one from Savmask that has five plus million active installations. So I'm going to click on install now and, and after the installation, I'm going to activate the plugin by clicking activate. Okay, right here, I want to ask you for a favor if you are enjoying the video please give it a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm to push it out to many other people that needs to learn this okay so continuing i'm gonna hover on the all-in-one wp migration option from the right side so i'm gonna click on import okay when i click on import i'm gonna click here and then select file because we extracted a file okay so i'm gonna go to where i downloaded it too and then here is the file you can see the file that uh, i just downloaded uh, some minutes ago okay so um uh, i'm just gonna click on open and um uh, this will take um some while so while this is running i i'm gonna pause the video and come back when the import is successful okay okay guys as you can see the import is now successful and uh, the next window is now this so we just have to click on proceed okay uh, okay i guess i uh, no, i don't have to pause the video this is quick okay your site has been imported successfully if i click on finish and then okay let me just go back and visit the website once more so it should look exactly like the original website as you can see guys you can see my web address over here my website for slash clone and you can see it's looking exactly like the, the original website that i cloned you can see that guys you can see very very pretty the products and everything very pretty guys everything included nothing excluded if i should open the individual product you can see the price everything you can see everything is just the same way and here is the original website you can see so if i still open the same product you can see that uh, it's looking exactly the same way okay you can see that so the next thing i want to show you that you will notice that if i reload the admin page to the clone website uh, i will be logged out so this is because uh, i just cloned the website so I, I will need to log in with the original uh, details from the original website okay so i just need to you know uh, re-log in again with the details of the other website okay okay so let me just go ahead and then log in again with the original details okay right here i'm logged in already okay guys i quickly want to teach you how to update the username As you can see the username right here is uh, the username of the original websites that i cloned it from okay so uh right now i want to update the username and uh, right now there is no way for me to update the username you can see from here if i click on edit profile uh, the username is not editable you can see 
is not active right here so i cannot click this i cannot usernames cannot be changed you can see the notice over there okay so i will need to do this uh, using a plugin so i'll just go to plugins and go to add new to add new plugin that will enable me to change the username okay so i'm just going to search for easy username updater okay so search for easy username updater and you can see this by Jogesh C Paint. I don't know if that's the pronunciation, but this is it with uh, 10,000 plus active installations. So I'm just going to click on install now. So after installation, I'm going to go ahead to click on activate to activate the plugin. So scrolling down, I'm going to hover onto users and i will see the plugin over here username updater so i'm going to click on it and then you can now see the current username over here so for me to update that i'm simply going to click on update so you can see the old username and the new username i can just say clone okay so just click on update username and by doing that you can see username updated okay so if I click on, um, if I go to edit profile right here, uh, okay, I am logged out. So I'll just go ahead and log in again with the new username. And I'm going to type in the password. Okay login so i'm logged in and now you can see the username has been updated you can see it's now clone okay and if i scroll down you can now see the username is clone and uh, you can see this notice as well and one more good thing is that you can still go ahead to delete the the plugin okay you can see the plugin right here i'll still go ahead to deactivate and delete the plugin and uh, my username will still remain the same okay so i'll still go ahead and click on delete and delete the plugin and then i still have the username as clone even if i do refresh the page you can still see that the username is still here okay so i hope you learned something useful from this video guys if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. If you have any video you want me to make, just leave it in the comment section below. I'll reply to that, okay? And if you're new to my YouTube channel as well, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I also have a Facebook page where I post tutorial content as well. So if you don't mind, please, you can click on the link on the description and then follow me on Facebook as well. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.